Hello, adventurers and DMs of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning in to the second epic boon we're going to be taking a look at in our epic boon series. Today we're going to be taking a look at Boon of Dimensional Travel, which is... Well, technically accurate, a little bit misleading. To be quite honest, this reminds me a lot of a certain Warlock Eldritch Invocation. That being said, let's take a look at its mechanics. As an action, you can cast the Misty Step spell without using a spell slot or any components. Once you do so, you can't use this boon again until you finish a short rest. Really interesting stuff, so in case you're not already familiar, uh, the Misty Step spell basically lets you teleport within an area or into a space uh, within 30 feet of you. Uh, you have to be able to see it and um, it's pretty good in all honesty. It's definitely one of the better um, spells to kind of get yourself out of a dangerous situation uh, simply because it counts as teleportation and teleportation does not produce attacks of opportunity and if you hide immediately after um, it's pretty good really good um, in any case let's get to my thoughts on it in terms of who benefits most I want to say this one hands down has got to go to either the monk or the rogue um, reason being is this is kind of a trait, at least the way of the shadows monk gets already, and it just makes sense to me. I'd reskin it so um, instead of uh, the misty step, they'd basically throw a flash bomb and then um, they'd move away unseen that way. Um, for the rogue, however, I would let it ride out as is. Um, it makes sense that the rogue should be able to disappear without a trace, you know? That to me makes sense. And the ability to use this as an action and still hide as a bonus action is very, very appealing. Um, I really like it in any case, and I would certainly allow this in my game. I would probably give this as a reward for a character finishing a crucial component of their backstory. Um, something along those lines would be pretty interesting or a significant, uh, a significant quest line for sure. Um, in any case, thanks so much for tuning into this episode. I'm trying to keep these as short as possible. Uh, quick thanks to our patrons, Marcos G. Guzman Jr. and Reyna. Um, feel free to tune into the daily live streams running from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. And if you like that fantastic Doom Night we got on screen, uh, that belongs to Mr. Marcos, by the way, uh, please feel free to check out our Patreon page where you can get one pretty close to that only to your own character. Um, that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today, and as always, happy adventuring.